What's up guys, Kevin this cool one here, and I'm going to be bringing you more Dragon Age Inquisition gameplay. Uh, right now, doing a two-handed dwarf playthrough, just on normal, nothing too special. I'm actually going to come over here and talk to the uh, requisition officer. She's always like, what's up? And she's going to tell you things that you need to get. So yeah, so the Pharrell, oh fucking, <laughs> she was talking to me again. Uh, so these are the prison cages, you need five Pharrell unlocks and ten iron. You get iron just because they're like variously placed around in certain mountainous areas. Uh, mountain's pretty common metal, so that one isn't too hard to find. The Ferelden locks you can get by killing knights. Like, uh, what is it? Are they requisition knights? Or they're just, they're knights. They're walking around the hinterlands, which is where we are at. There's iron right there. You usually get like two to three iron per like iron find so right now we're just gonna go straight up to this quest that's right over here um, this is basically just a battle just come up in here grab this iron and then there's a bunch of dudes who are and are not on your team so it's good to just figure that out pretty early uh, I'm just gonna come right so these are some of the night guys other oh, Templars <laughs> yeah of course I wouldn't like understand that uh, so first gonna hit him with that war cry I'm going to take uh, like most of these battles, kind of at least at the start. Um, since it's normal, you know, unless we're fighting like really hard enemies, we should kind of be good. I kind of want to see what this grappling hook does. I told her to go do that, but I just don't think it worked out. She's kind of getting blocked in by our archer friends. Uh, okay. I don't know what's happening to her. Oh, is she blocking slashing? Or she's just like kind of waiting around for an attack or something. I don't know what's going on with her. She's goofing me out a little bit. Uh. Oh, okay. That was that was interesting. Um, so we won that battle pretty handily, but I was too busy distracted by getting Cassandra to do an ability on somebody. <laughs> so that didn't work out in our favor. Oh, there's more people. There's a Ferelden lock. Getting there slowly but surely. Oh, okay. Oh, see, okay, I'm getting the combo down. The good thing about my, um, my move, my, uh, my square move, is that it can be used, like, over and over. I think it does take some stamina. Oh. That's what I wanted to use. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck, this mage is just duking us. Oh, she did it! She did it without my knowing, and I fucking missed it again. This guy keeps getting beaten around so hard. He has the, I can't even use my circle. Um, I'll probably learn the names of the abilities at some point. Secure the crossroad. The cross. Sec secure the crossblows. Um, <laughs> no. Um, the Templars gonna kill these motherfuckers. So, there she goes. She got him right in the goddamn fire. Okay, I hit him too. So we're at. I'm burning. I'm burning. Back out. Back out. <laughs> oh, fuck that, dude. I love the fucking two-handed swinging mechanic in this game. Oh, it just feels strong, dude. It just feels good. I right, got two more Templars to go. They're probably just both already dead. Oh, wow. I love that. I hit rocks up out of the ground. There weren't even rocks there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was a really weird screaming noise. I'm so sorry about that. But just when, you, but just when you know when you wreck somebody like that, you just gotta take some pride. You know, take some pride in the wrecking. Yeah, everyone's like, "Wow, you fucking killed that guy!" <laughs> and, uh, like all the villagers, like, "That was the shit!" Wow. <laughs> now they're probably not gonna say that. You know, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, that's my shit. These people are all like, yeah, no, you're pretty tight. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I am. Um, I don't know why the fuck you didn't think I was tight in the first place. Ooh, shit. Herald of Andraste. 
That's fucking me, dude. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I'm familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrible. Classic Chantry folk, am I right? Sorry, I'm taking a drink. Sorry, I won't make that noise ever again. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yeah. Well, <sighs> Okay, so it's just like those conversations can feel really lengthy. There's a merchant dude. Uh, he kind of sells some good stuff here and there. Um, what was that? Oh, that's better than mine. Sledgehammer's a lot better than mine. Okay. So Sledgehammer is a lot better than anything I have. Like, everything they have is better than what I have. So, I'm going to purchase myself this here sledgehammer. Okay, cool. I'll just make sure I bought it. And then, and sell the great sword. Hunting longbow, don't really need. Hold on, let's get Varric Solus up in here. That's better than his, so we'll take it. Um, right now, we don't really have much money. So, if I really need something, I can come back for it. Um, but by the time I go out and get stuff, like, I'll, like, already have better stuff. So, like, the point in buying a lot of this stuff really isn't that worth it. Like, I think this might be worth it for Cassandra. Yeah, because it's, like, a big difference, you know? Like, ten points. Like, yeah, I, you could call that a big difference. But, like, when it's, like, that big of a difference, I mean, she only needs one more level to get to, to get this weapon. And that's, like, a... Th Fudging 20 point difference. That's 30 points. I am so sorry. I swear to God, I know how to do math. I swear. <laughs> no. Um, hold on. Let's get let's get up in here. Let's get up in here. Uh, let's get up over into our inventory. Get our boy sledgehammer action going. Uh, that's fire. Um, I already have. I got a defender coat on, which is pretty tight. Um, hopefully, we'll find some better armor. Cause I don't think that dude sells much armor. Plus, I don't really have money to spend. I don't know who the fuck he thinks I am. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell here. Oh yeah, see, he doesn't have any armor. He's got upgrades for Bianca, which are good. But then we have to go all the way back to the place to go to to go do them or whatever. Fire grenade recipe. Oh, I don't know what that is. Or even how to make it. Fudge, I'm sorry. Oh, that was cool looking still. Alright, um... Okay, we'll get that landmark real quick, and then we can go out and do some quests. I'm not gonna really... I mean, obviously I'm gonna be following the main storyline, but it's always good to go around and do some other quests too, because, well... 
You know, this game doesn't have a shit ton of other quests for no reason. Plus, like, you know, doing straight story is cool, I guess, but you don't get to, like, experience the world. Oh, this is a dumb quest. Never mind. Never, never, never mind, never mind. That one's really stupid. Uh, <laughs> I know I was, like, just talking about, like, oh, let's go do quests, what? But, uh, that one is, like, hunting and killing Ram, and that's not what I want to do today. This one's okay. Okay, you go and find... I know these because I played, I have, like, a one other playthrough that I'm not doing, that I'm not recording it. Um, my guy's an elf archer. Um, I'm only like, it's, he's only like a little bit farther ahead of the one I'm doing right now. I just kind of play that one in the free time when, I, when I'm not like recording or, you know, the one they assist stuff. So, I think they're both the same thing. Me recording and me doing this right now are the same thing, but. Fast travel, that's right. We have a fucking. We got that. Okay, he's gonna he's he talks to you about a bunch of shit. Ah, oh, fuck. He talks to you about a bunch of stuff. Corporal Vale, he's like, these people need food, and these people need that, and these people need that. So I think I'll go talk to him, but um, it's really not much of like a nice conversation. He's just like, people need that, people need that, and then you're like, okay, cool, I can do that. And then you go around and do the quest for people, and they're like, ah, oh, that's fucking sick. And then you get influence points, which is tight. Don't get me wrong, influence points. I'm down with that. I'm not trying to deny those at all. Those are cool. But we're trying to do fun stuff. That's right. So this dude's all like, well, ba doo -do. He doesn't say that, but it's something pretty similar to that. Oh, yes, the horse maker. We should go do the horse maker quest, actually. That's a fun quest. Plus, we'll probably get assaulted by, like, things way higher level than us. Not way higher level, but, uh, a, a, you know, decently difficult. Which is rad. And then you can investigate, and he'll talk to you about, people need that and this, but they're all quests you can do on your own. So, yeah, we can stabilize areas and stuff. Um, so, this is the horse makers over here um, to go there. But, first we're going to have to... It's good to get these freaking camps on your way, because the camps give you potions. Do we have? We got eight out of eight. The camps give you potions, and the camps give you. Um, yeah, you can sleep. They give you full health. They're a good place to fast travel to. If you have a bunch of them, you can go around. Oh, hello! <laughs> awesome. Uh, roots and shit. Good to get for potions and stuff you can make. So, definitely just grab all that shit. Like, don't... If It takes, like, 0.2 seconds to grab something. Like, if you see iron, if you see fucking... Like, an astarium, which is a place where you look at the stars and you can... Mm, yeah, that's the one you look at. You look at the stars and you can do all this other stuff with it. Um, don't just fucking walk by that shit. Grab that shit. Map to a waterfall. Waterfall is... I don't know why there's a map to it. But like, when you find it, it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Oh, speaking of... Not speaking of Astariums, this is, an, this is a totally different thing. Let's see this image of the skull that is on the... Uh, this is Ocularum. Ocularum. So you look through this fucking skull, and you just find these shards and stuff. Which, uh, this is a pretty simple one. I think this is the first one you, f you get to do. So you just find them. It's kind of luck, really. But then, so you get that, and then you go around and you collect the shards. Fuck, <laughs> I just went back into the, the Ocularum. No, I did it again. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> please, 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 I just wanted to jump over that thing, but it was so hard to do. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to collect that. And then we will start on this quest of getting to the Horse Master next time. So if you guys enjoyed uh, this episode, and feel free to subscribe and like this episode if you really did enjoy it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.